congratulations. Last night was what a moment. Like, and, and the fact that it was a full circle moment for you, like this was the, the reason for your existence in the music scene. You brought Billy Joel back into the action. Crazy. <laughs> Makes you uh, definitely believe in the power of manifestation Absolutely. and passion. Absolutely. What was that writing process like for you? I mean, you've been doing so many great things lately with, with, your, with your writing, but, you know, being able to sit down with him and co-write this record, like, what was that vibe? What was that experience like? Unbelievable. Um, we've, we've, uh, we actually worked on a, on, on a whole handful of records, um, mostly finishing his unfinished music yeah. that he kind of started back in the day, and I said, let's... Let's open those things back up, see what happens, just, just for fun. Um, and, then I, um, and then I brought him an idea that I'd started with a couple of friends. I said, I know we're working on finishing uh, some of your ideas, but I'd love, love to know what you think of this. Maybe you'll, you want to help me finish this one. And he really liked it, and he did. And I think maybe there was something about it being an idea that he didn't start, that he didn't have 20 years of preconceived notions of how it should go, but right. he hadn't finished yet. Where, and also not necessarily thinking it was going to be for him. Right. Where it was like, oh, okay, it's interesting as an artist, you know, it just kind of changed it up. And we had fun. I mean, I had fun. And he, he has said, well, it wasn't painful. <laughs> so I think that... Sounds like he enjoyed his time. <laughs> listen, I can't speak for him, but I, I, I'm going to put money on that. If he wasn't enjoying it, uh, he, my number would be blocked by now. <laughs> I call him a lot. Now, how do you get an artist, a major artist like him that hasn't released anything in decades, to actually get back in, in, into the studio and make this happen? Persistence. Passion. Um, positivity. Unending positivity. Limitless patience. And a little bit of luck. <laughs> and an amazing wife who set up that meeting. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, congratulations, man. It's never too late to turn the lights back on, which like it goes for anything. Truly, truly. I'm, I'm so happy you said that. It really is. I got emotional about it yesterday just because I was thinking, man, you've got people who will, my story will resonate with, which is like, hey, I thought that maybe, I, you know, I could never get to an idol of mine or this, that, but I should try, look at this story. But then you've got older people who maybe said, if I was younger, I would, pers I would open this bakery or I would do this. And then they look at Billy Joel. Man, if he could do it, at, at being the most vocal person about not wanting to do it, yeah. then maybe it's never too late to turn the lights back on. And you just have to find the right situation. So I agree. You've got power, Freddie. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But I'm, I've, I've got gratitude. I'm very, I, very grateful. I met you like a decade ago when you introduced me to Moxie Raya. Yeah. We did an interview, and since then I've been following your journey, and it's just incredible how much every year you kind of step up the ladder and that plate. So congratulations, man. I look forward to more things with you, and thanks for hanging out with me. And this, by the way, this year at the Grammys, I worked on an album for a girl named Leve, who's an amazing um, artist, really bringing jazz kind of to to the world. Um, check that out as well. She's no, I loved it. I, I interviewed her a couple of months back. She's so cool. And she's incredible. She is. Awesome. Great to see you. Thank you. Likewise.